So I'm guessing that you clicked on this video because you want to learn all about what it means to call CQ and how to do it effectively and the right way. I don't know if there is a right way or a wrong way, but I'm gonna show you the procedure, I suppose, of how it is done on the air. Now this comes from my experience as an amateur radio operator for the past 20 years. This is how I've been doing it. It might be different to the way that others may teach you, but at the end of the day, this video should help you with the basics and get the concepts right. To call CQ basically just means I'm calling any station. I'm calling anyone looking for calls. So if you were to call an amateur radio station that you know specifically, you would call their call sign followed by your call sign and see if they're listening. So for instance, I've got a friend of mine, Steve, KM9G, he lives in the United States. If I was trying to call him, I would say on the radio, KM9G, KM9G, this is Victor Kilo 7 Hotel Hotel, VK7HH. Do you copy, are you there? That sort of exchange. Whereas if I'm calling CQ and I'm just trying to call anyone to respond to my call, I would respond in this way. I would first call CQ three times. This is generally what I do. Call CQ three times, followed by my call sign. And I usually use phonetics, especially when I'm on HF, I will use phonetics so that it's easier for stations who may not hear me uh, very well if I'm weak to be able to try and make out my call sign. And then I will say calling CQ, CQ again and just say that I'm listening. So for instance, this is what I would do. Is the frequency in use? Is the frequency in use? This is Victor Kilo 7, Hotel, Hotel. Now I would do that twice to just make sure that the frequency is clear for use, just in case someone didn't hear you the first time. And then I'd wait about 20 to 30 seconds and then start calling CQ. CQ, CQ, CQ calling CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Victor Kilo 7, Hotel, Hotel. Victor Kilo 7, Hotel, Hotel, calling CQ, CQ, CQ and listening. Now you could do this a couple of times and you may not receive a response. That was quite a quick call. It was only probably about 20 seconds or so. And the thing is, is that not everyone might have a waterfall like I've got, as you can see. So they might not see you necessarily calling. It might take some time, even if they do have a waterfall, to tune you in to uh, see what the station is. So they might only get the back end of your call. The same too as if they don't have a waterfall, they might be tuning up and down the band and come across your call that you're putting out to call CQ. So sometimes it takes a little bit of time. You may also need to call a little bit longer. So I've just made that call there no one's come back. So generally what I will do is I will continue to call, but I will make it a little bit longer. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Victor Kilo 7, Hotel, Hotel. A Victor Kilo 7, Hotel, Hotel. VK7 HH, VK7 HH in Tasmania, Australia, calling CQ, CQ, CQ. CQ on the 10 meter band, CQ, CQ. This is Victor Kilo 7, Hotel Hotel listening. So as you can see, there isn't any right or wrong way to do it, just as long as you conform to the procedure, I suppose, of making sure that you announce your call sign so that it is easily understood on the air. The other thing that I do is I tend to enunciate things a lot more when I'm on the air so that I can be heard by perhaps stations that it's not their English is not their first speaking language. So for instance, I'll say Victor Kilo 7 Hotel Hotel. And then that way, just enunciating a little bit more means that it's a little bit easier for those who may not uh, understand you uh, fully to be able to hear what you're saying and to copy your call sign at least. Roger, Roger, Frank, Zulu, Lima 1, Juliet, Lima Alpha, Foxtrot 5, Papa Alpha Uniform, from Zulu, Lima 1, Juliet, Lima Alpha. Roger, Roger, Mike, thank you. Zulu, Lima 1, Juliet, Lima Alpha, here is Florida 5, Papa, America Uniform. So you can hear that that station there, the Zulu Lima station, was 
enunciating his call sign so that the station there who I'm not quite sure of the call sign, I'll have to look up the location, but it was obvious that they were not a primarily English speaking station just to enunciate so that it's a lot easier for them to understand. Now, sometimes calling CQ can get a little bit tiring on your voice if you continue to do that. If your radio has this feature in it, and a lot of the newer radios do, you can use a voice care. So you can see I've got voice. You can pre-program your CQ calls into here so that they will call automatically for you on the air. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Victor Kilo 7. Hotel, hotel, calling CQ and listening. Sometimes it's also handy to include your grid square as a locator so people can understand where you are or look you up where you are before they actually try to make contact with you. This is handy for those that are chasing grids. You might be in a grid square that they've already worked plenty of times before and they might hear it and they might not respond back to your call. It's not necessarily, you don't have to do that, but it is one thing to just keep in mind. Now I did mention before that there are different CQ calls and I'm going to go through what the CQ contest call is. It's pretty much exactly the same only that you just add in contest. So this is how I would make a CQ contest call. CQ contest, CQ contest, CQ contest. This is Victor Kilo 7, hotel, hotel. Victor Kilo 7, hotel, hotel. Calling CQ contest, CQ contest, CQ contest for the Remembrance Day contest. Calling CQ and listening. So it's good practice to call CQ contest, but sometimes announce the contest that you are calling in. Not only doing that allows people to understand that yes, you truly are involved in the contest, but those that might not necessarily know what contest is on, they'll hear you announce what it is, they might look up the rules and they might themselves get involved. Thank you to you 73, it's a QRZ for the North Pole. Bravo, ocean you heard that station call QRZ. So it is common that after you have finished calling CQ and you've finished speaking with the station, you might just say, rather than start the CQ uh, cycle again because people have been talking to you or you've been in conversation, you could say simply, uh, I would say, no worries, 73, thank you for the contact. QRZ, this is Victor Kilo 7, Hotel, Hotel. And then it allows other stations to call in. So you don't necessarily have to call CQ again. CQ, CQDX, CQDX, Victor Kilo 2, Golf, Juliet Charlie. Victor Kilo 2, Golf, Juliet Charlie, CQDX. CQDX, VK2, GJC, listening for a call please. Now that station there was calling CQDX. That's another variation of calling CQ. Essentially what that station, VK2 station was saying was calling CQDX, CQDX. He was trying to find DX stations. Now me, I live in Australia, so I know that he's not looking to try and make contact with me. So I wouldn't respond to his call because I'm not DX. Now what constitutes DX is kind of a little bit of a question of its own. Uh, if you're, say, nearby here in Australia, we've got New Zealand, which is pretty close. Would that constitute DX? To some people, it would. To others, it wouldn't. So some people might even be even more specific. They might say CQDX North America, CQDX South America, CQDX Europe, so that they can establish that that is what they are looking for, that they're not looking for other areas. So it's generally best not to respond to a CQDX call if you feel that you're pretty close in the area that they're in, or if they are specifically trying to call another continent or another area of the world. Now, the best piece of advice that I have for you, if you are still a little bit nervous and not quite sure about the etiquette that you're supposed to use on air, is just to listen, 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 listen to other stations on the air that you can hear, see how they conduct themselves, see how they call in stations, how they call CQ, how they call CQDX and all that sort of thing. And eventually you'll get the hang of it and it will just come naturally for you. There can be other confusing bits of amateur radio when it comes to etiquette on the air, such as, do you call CQ on a repeater? That one's a good one. Do you do that? Well, I answer that question plus many others in these videos over here.